Well, hello, um, Andy Hoyd with Metro TV, and we have Pete Tulipana with us today, uh, President CEO of the Iowa West Foundation. So, Pete, thank you for joining me today. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. So, we worked on an exciting project. It was the Iowa West Foundation, the Pottawatomie County Community Foundation, um, and it's the cover of our, our most recent issue. So really learning a lot about um, what's happening over across the river. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about the Iowa West Foundation. So it's a private foundation that operates like a community foundation. Um, and why is that? Can you just like give us a little background? Yeah, sure. I, um, Iowa's foundation, as most people know, um, began as a result of the gaming industry in, in Iowa, in Southwest Iowa, and the Iowa West Foundation and the Iowa Racing Association are partners with the casinos here in Council Bluffs. And so our resources come from um, the gaming community. Uh, and um, uh, every casino in Southwest, in Iowa, is required to have a quality service organization such as ours. And 3% of the gross revenue goes to that QSO on an annual basis. So um, when gaming was started in Southwest Iowa, it was really a community, um, it was community energy that actually made that happen, uh, the dog racing initially. And there were uh, a great many community leaders who um, worked hard to bring gaming into the community. And so there's a lot of ownership around sure. uh, what happened as a result of that. And uh, now in our 23rd year, the IOS Foundation is obviously a significant um, a resource and a, and a significant player in terms of trying to bring resources to make things happen in Southwest Iowa. So lots of folks have an opinion about what's important. And yeah. so as a result of that, you know, we, we are very, we are very intentional about going out to the community and saying in our four areas of funding, what do you feel are the most important things for us to invest in? And we use that information very well, which is kind of like what a community foundation would do. Right. Right. So, Recently, you surpassed 500 million in grants and initiatives funding. So talk to me a little bit about the transformational impact that that's had on Council Bluffs in Pottawatomie County. Yeah, 500 million in and of itself is a huge amount of money when you think yes. about the geography of where we're, we're supporting. But when you think about matching that, most of our grants and initiatives are matched at least on a one-on-one. -on -one. So that's a billion dollars of resources that have gone into uh, our communities. And the four areas that we fund in have all been just dramatically impacted. Um, those four areas are education, um, what we call placemaking, which is recreation and the arts, economic development, and then of course, human service. And yeah. you can look in each one of those four areas and see just transformational. And just to give a quick example of one, uh, in the area of recreation, we did a, a, a community survey of young people and adults in 2012. And in that survey, there was four, four things that were identified as the highest priority. A new YMCA, check. We have a beautiful new YMCA in Council of Lefts. A field house for basketball, volleyball, check. We have that. Um, trails, we have a wonderful trail system that we are incrementally implementing across Southwest Iowa. We've got a master plan in place. And the fourth one was a new indoor soccer facility, and that is going to be open this fall. Okay. So we really listened to the community on what they thought was important, and we've systematically over the last seven years um, attacked those areas, and now we're going to go back out to the community and say, okay, we did what you said, now what's next? Sure, sure. Um, so let's talk a little bit about how the foundation, how you support the nonprofit community. Yeah, um, very important for us to have a strong delivery system for nonprofits in Southwest Iowa and to support the major amenities that really are regional amenities that we uh, who live in Southwest Iowa benefit from. So uh, our primary focus area is Pottawatomie County and, and then the broader Southwest Iowa area. And we support them in a number of ways. The first two that I think are the most important is recognizing that we really want to, for those that are critical part of our delivery system, we really want to be part of sustaining their operations. Yeah. But we also want to support them in building their capacity. So we have a number of programs that we have implemented in the last few years to really 
uh, focus on being partners with our nonprofit organizations to understand what can we do, how can we help them to increase their capacity to build their to achieve their mission. And we've brought in a national organization called Board Source as one example, and had we're now on our second finishing up our second cohort of nonprofits who've gone through the CEOs and the executive committees have gone through a year-long process of understanding uh, what it means to be um, and what you need to focus on in order to have a quality service delivery system for nonprofits. So operational monies and supporting their capacity building through board source projects or uh, funding strategic planning or funding consultants who can help them with specific areas that they're challenged by. Yeah, I had the opportunity, Donna um, Dostal hosted a lunch and I came over and was able to meet a lot of the nonprofits over there and um, just a very vibrant nonprofit community um, yeah. covering all, all different areas. So, so let's just talk. I like, always like to talk about kind of like what we're looking at the next five to 10 years. What do you, what do you see happening? Well, if you had asked me that question a month ago, I probably would have thought <laughs> differently about that, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Uh, I just literally got off a call um, uh, with a group from Council Bluffs uh, who are looking at the reopening and um, and the impact on businesses and our economy. And there's just a whole myriad of issues there that we're going to be paying attention to, I think, in the next couple of years and trying to figure out what is the role of philanthropy in this and how do we support, beyond supporting our nonprofit community, how do we support the the reopening of our communities from the economic development perspective. Um, in addition to that, I think um, uh, we're going to be continuing to look at our four areas and incrementally building on those four areas. Uh, uh, one of the things that you highlighted a little bit in the in the magazine this last month was the tremendous impact that um, philanthropy and um, and uh, strong leadership has had on our education yeah. system in Southwest Iowa. People don't know, but we have, a, I think it's not enough people know, I should say, but we have a tremendous, tremendous um, uh, uh, things happening in our, in our school districts. A great example of that is we were ahead of the curve and prepared for COVID by having all of our kids have uh, Chromebooks and have had Chromebooks for uh, a, a good amount of time. Yeah. So we, we, are in the, we are being able to implement that. So supporting our school systems and figuring out what's next and how does COVID impact that and how do we continue to grow. I'm very excited about an investment that we've made on International Baccalaureate Program, which is a high standard program. Uh, and it's now in two of our elementary schools and will be in two of our junior highs. Um, and it's a wonderful, um, attractive um, uh, standard to have for folks who want the best education for their for their children. Yeah. Uh, that's one example of something that will continue to grow in our education system. And I could talk about those things in each one of our four areas. Yes. Well, um, we're getting to the point where we've got to <laughs> wrap this up, but really great information and i encourage everybody who's watching this to definitely you can read um the magazine online at spiritofomaha.com and again it was just so great to to have our team working with with everyone over in across the river um just doing exciting things and it, it'll be it'll be great to see kind of what the future holds um covid19 and all you know it just Exactly. There's no doubt that things are looking up in, in yeah. Southwest Iowa. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, Pete, thank you so much for joining me today. And um, I will hope to see you soon. You're welcome. Thank you.